Hey, assalamu alaikum everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Yes, it has been a very long time since I posted. It's been very busy. As you know, my apartment burned, well, at least most of it. And, you know, they said two weeks. Well, just so you know, now uh, today is, what is it? It's March 11th. So I'm playing catch up. The dates on here aren't real. It's just approximate dates. Actually, what I'm going to talk about today actually happened before the fire, but I just wanted to share that uh, with you, just because it, it's a it's an important idea, I think. Um, and I'll be playing catch up like you've seen me do before. I'll be doing a bunch of videos. It doesn't mean I'm wearing the same clothes every day, though I had difficulty with that and did do that for a few days, just because my clothes all was all were uh, quite dirty. <laughs> Making things work in terms of weight. I want to talk about that. Um, I went to buy some vegetables, and. I, I wanted a certain number of tomatoes because I was making uh, some burgers for my friends, right? And, you know, after every Friday prayer, there there's this group of guys, we go to Friday prayer, and then afterwards, you know, we switch off people's houses and someone cooks. Well, it was my turn because I, you know, I just met the guys the second week. And, oh, man, so, so much of the extra bread and meat got burned and got, uh, you know, got messed up and went rotten in the fire. But it's okay, alhamdulillah. I go to buy some tomatoes and I, I needed seven or something like that. So I got my seven tomatoes and I was ready and I go to the guy to buy them. I put them in a basket, you know, you put them in a basket and I'm like, here you go. So he puts them on the scale and it turns out to be a little bit under a kilo. So he takes another tomato and he throws it in there. Then it gets to a kilo and he, pay, he makes me pay the kilo price. So I was like, wait a minute, why did that happen? Why couldn't he charge me a little bit less? Because it was like three pounds or two pounds or however much it was for a kilo. Well, it turned out that that tomato, ladies and gentlemen, he had a bunch of vegetables around the scale so he could just throw them in and make it exactly one or exactly half. Um, was rotten. It was rotten, yes. And I had to throw it out. I went to buy some sweets. Basbusa. Well, uh, actually it was harissa. There's a difference. And not many Arabs even know this, but the difference is the addition of flour. Now, I don't remember right now which one doesn't have it, but one of them doesn't have it. Um, so I bought some harissa, and by the way, Vespusa tastes a lot better, and Egyptians, God, this, this must be the best Egyptian sweet, it's amazing. Uh, I bought some of that for my friends as well, and it turned out to be a little, I mean, I asked for a certain number of pieces. So the lady at the place, she gave me the certain number of pieces, and by the way, even the people working at the store didn't know, I had to ask the cook, the chef. And after she put all the pieces in, it turned out it was a little less than, you know, um, one kilo and a fourth or something. So just she just added another piece. She didn't even ask me. It was like, customer, consumer, you don't matter. And she just gave it to me. And it reminded me of that time in Cyber Summit I was, I was telling you about. I'm just on my computer, and now I found a program, Fall, Fall X, which works for my Mac. Because the internet will cut out. It's very normal. It'll just cut out. So if you don't have something that preserves your download, you'll just, you won't have anything there. So I tell him about that. The guy who owns the, the cafe goes into my computer, goes into the, the shared files because, you know, now I'm on the network. He opens up a file and downloads it. And I hate when people touch my stuff without asking me. So he just downloaded a file on my computer without even asking me. And it was just like nothing. And he's like, don't worry about it. And I was like, what do you, what do you mean don't worry about it? But it, it's... It's just a different mentality here. Um, what does it mean? I don't know what it means. Less freedom or something like that? I, I, I really don't know. But I just want to say that I don't like it because it makes me feel like the customer does not come first. It's not like that in the expensive, you know, fancy places. It's quite the opposite. I also wanted to add that the book expo that I told you about in Cairo came to Alex, Alex or Alexandria. It's a lot smaller. It's not all of it, but it was. Uh, it's here. I had to buy something. Um, from the from the books for one of my classes, which is very cool. But I'll talk about my classes because one is a joke. Oh my god, I hate it. And one is amazing. It's very good and it's comparable actually to the my American classes. I mean, this guy is so sophisticated. So it'll show you more about the uh, tenawa or the variety of classes here. I also wanted to add that one of my best parts. I didn't talk about this in the book expo post of the book expo is the international section, one that my friend who's been there before didn't know about. So, if you're ever going to it, go to the international section. There's tons of different languages. There's cool people. There's Egyptians that speak a bunch of different languages. And I, I think they're just the most interesting people. You know, they, they've gone to different cultures. They work at embassies. 
and they read different books and I just went and I knew just like one word one or two words in all these different languages so I just went from language to language from Italian to Russian to uh, what else was there there's Kazakh there was Spanish there was German there was Chinese um, there was of course there was Arabic there was English there was an American one the one that said USA had all these novels from this weird guy you know, I met him. He doesn't even speak American English. He's not an American unless he got a citizenship later. I was like, what is the point of this exhibition? Why do you have USA written up there? And these novels have nothing to do with anything that's related to the USA. They're just random novels. The lady was trying to answer me. And then I just told her, I was like, I'm from the USA. I'm an American. And I, I mean, this is representing our country. I just wish that the US would put something else there. I mean, this is the largest book fair or book expo in the world from what I hear. And it's a bunch of Arabs who a lot of them have a bad image of the U.S. We should do some more PR over there. All right, well, that's it for now. Uh, thanks. It's so much.